Hey, what's up guys? I just got this in the mail. It is the uh, iRange X i8 X IR8M. Uh, I ordered it uh, about two months ago and uh, that was on a pre-order and I finally got it. Uh, so it's a uh, eight channel uh, 2.4 gigahertz uh, transmitter that uh, supports uh, multi-protocol. Multi <clears throat> Let's see what we get inside. So we got, looks like a USB cable. It's a mini USB cable. A receiver, a mini receiver. So it's a tiny little thing. So we got this little mini receiver. Looks like a, maybe an FS. A, I don't know what it's called. Anyways, a little mini receiver. A little Allen key. And then the transmitter itself. Got a little rubber grips here, a little stand here. Let's see what the uh, battery compartment's like. It's like four double A's that comes out. A little connector that you can unplug. I believe it also accepts a uh, 2S LiPo battery too. So that'll be handy. So I got a mode two transmitter, a throttle on the uh, left. The gimbals feel a little bit springy. I don't know if you can see that. So you can kind of see it bouncing around. Otherwise they feel okay, a little bit cheaper than my uh, IRX6 i6x so you can kind of like maybe hear the difference it bounces much less this one feels a bit more solid plastic feels a little bit better on this one so we got two toggle switches up here four in the front here and two dials here it's got a few more channels in the uh, the i6, and uh, see underneath here. I believe that's a power switch. It's behind this cover, it's a tiny hole there, but I don't think I see anything that goes inside there. And that's where the uh, mic, uh, mini USB plug will go, probably for updates. We got some trim switches here and menu switches here and also here. It's also got the hanger here. Seems a little uh, front heavy. So let me go grab some batteries and turn it on and see what it, see what's like. So I just put some batteries in it and let's see what it sounds like when it turns on. Okay. Well, this thing didn't come with an instruction manual, so pretty much have to guess how it all works. So it can show the throttle there. That shows nothing. So I can see the trim adjustment. That'll be the throttle trim. There's that one. And then Okay, well those are the trims, you can see it all move up and down there and, and then on the side here. You can also see up here, so you see the voltage, so it's sitting at 5.3 volts. Uh, that's, that's because I'm running uh, nickel metal hydride batteries. 
the power level, 150 milliwatts. I don't know how true that is. I don't know what this blade means. But uh, let's go into the menu. And press these up and down buttons. We'll go through the menu. So let's go to, let's go to the model. Just kind of go through the menu system. Let's go to the model setup. So I guess this is where I choose the uh, the protocol. So FR Sky, FR Sky, more FR Sky. Some other stuff I never heard of. Well, Bayang protocol, that sounds familiar. So that's it. So let me exit out that one. Let's go to the mixer. Okay, well, that, let me exit out that. Timers. Oh, that's neat. Set a timer for. Oh, that's not supported. Trims. Well, that's the same as this stuff. Nope. I guess not. So I guess this is how did you can log some of the data. Sure. I'll probably have to find a manual for this and kind of read through it. Well, wow, there's a lot of stuff to read through. Oh, thanks. Main page config. Wow, there's a lot of settings here. Voice config, guess there's no speaker. So yeah, that's it. It's my pretty much unboxing of this. Oh, let's see how much it weighs actually. So I got <clears throat> four batteries in here, about 478 grams with the four batteries. I can compare that to my only other transmitter, which is the i6. And that's weighing at about like 513 grams. So this is a bit lighter. Plastic feels a bit cheaper, but it does have these nice rubber grips here. Those feels nice. The dials feel nice. These are like, these knobs that have a machined aluminum with a little set screw. I guess that's what that Allen key is for. Switches feel just as good as the i6 switches. So we got uh, go two position, two position. That's three position, three position, two position, and two position. And then uh, it's definitely front heavy. So yeah, that's it for this uh, initial review of this. I'm hoping to figure out how to use it and maybe test it out on the field. Actually, you know what, before I end this video, let's take it apart and see uh, what it looks inside. Now those come off really easy. So here's a look of the uh, inside of the transmitter. See if I can get this thing to focus. So the gimbals actually run on uh, ball bearings. I can see them from my angle. I don't know if you can see it from your angle. But they're ball bearings. And then there's a, a single antenna wire right here. It goes into the front of the screen. Oops, what's this? It's pretty hollow inside there's actually Quite a bit of empty space right by the handles. 
and that little square hole on over here there's actually just nothing there at all so yeah anyways I'm gonna throw this back together yeah I hope you enjoyed this video learn a little bit about this transmitter if you're interested uh, there are links in the description um, well thanks for watching